So in the past couple of days, Eugenia Cooney has been going viral on TikTok because of this video she uploaded of herself dancing to Single Ladies by Beyonce because this is the absolute worst that we've ever seen her. But it wasn't just with this video because then she followed it up with an even more disturbing video somehow. In this TikTok, she's recreating the iconic hit or miss video and you can tell that at the beginning of the video, she's having difficulty spinning around. And a lot of people under these videos have been expressing their concern, understandably. But at this point in time, I genuinely think she is too far gone. Where we're at right now, there is absolutely nothing that anybody could say to Eugenia that is going to help her. If nothing was getting through to her before, I don't see anybody else saying anything that would be able to get through to her now. Because whatever anybody says is just going to feed the ED. It doesn't matter. If you say something positive like she looks good, then she's going to keep doing what she's doing. Because if people are complimenting her, why would she stop? People aren't giving her a reason to. But then, if you say that you're scared, or that you're nervous, or that she looks sick, or that she looks creepy, then she's going to feel good. It is next to impossible to be able to help someone like that, especially when they're in an environment where it's encouraged. Because her mother doesn't see a problem in the slightest. She could not care less about what Eugenia is doing to herself, and she's made this very clear multiple times. She ignored chat. Yes, no, my mom's not concerned about my weight. No, that was their question. I've known her my whole life. I know her blood work and her doctor's appointments and everything check out good. I'm not concerned. <sighs> okay, so there's a lot to unpack in what she just said. So she says that she's not worried because the doctors aren't worried. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this, okay? But if you go to the doctors because you are underweight and you know, you want help or your family member wants you to get help, but you say that you're fine, <laughs> then you're fine. On your way, bye bye. So I'm sorry, but you just can't really trust the opinion of some of these doctors. Because the truth is, if you're not being rolled into their office on your deathbed, then they're just not going to help you that much. And that's just the truth. And for her mother to say that she's known Eugenia her whole life, but hasn't bothered to pay attention to or care about her daughter's rapid decline of her physical well-being is insane. Because just take a look at Eugenia from August 2019 to December 2020. And you want to sit there and tell me that you don't see that there's a problem. You know that her friends called to have Eugenia put in a 5150 and you don't think that anything's wrong with that? It doesn't matter what a f***ing doctor says. You are her mother. You're not stupid. You know a 29 year old woman isn't supposed to look like that. She actually genuinely sits there and enables it. Because take a look at this clip where she literally says right to her face that Eugenia is a skinny mini. How is your, your mom okay watching you wilt away? She's not. My mom lives with me. She knows that I'm fine. I know she eats. She takes good care of herself. Exactly. See? Exactly. She happens to be skinny mini, but she does take exactly. skinny Exactly. We're all different. But she does take good care of herself. Exactly. Why would you say that to your daughter who is in the f***ing trenches of an eating disorder? Are you- do you have a f***ing brain? Something else that's also been happening a lot in the past couple of months is while she's on stream, she'll be having these coughing fits. And the reason I put coughing fits in quotes is because she's not coughing. She's having heart palpitations. I just started like coughing like crazy. Sorry. Because a second ago my throat was like getting really irritated. And in the next clip when this happens, her eyes literally begin to water like crazy because of it. And this clip is really uncomfortable because she makes it a point to not stop smiling the entire time. Because it's almost like she wants to convince her audience that there's nothing wrong. <coughs>
to this sort of reaction that your body has is by going to grab a glass of water and sip on it a little bit. But she won't even do that now. She will sit on that chair for eight to nine hours a day streaming and not have a single drop of water the entire time. When I, I know like drinking water is good. I think it is good obviously to stay hydrated and everything. But sometimes, like, I just kind of don't feel like I always kind of need people, like, telling me what to do. I find it weird how Eugenia says that she doesn't like people telling her what to do in regards to actually putting nutrients into her body. But she gets asked to do a push-up and she does it. No problem, at the snap of a finger. No complaints, no hesitation. Because one involves putting something into her body to help her sustain herself, and the other one is burning calories. Can I do a push-up? That would probably be even harder than a squat, guys. Do you want to see me try? We go like this? How do people do push-ups? Oh my gosh, like this is hard. Ah! How do you do it? Oh my gosh, how do people do this? That's not cute. That's not quirky. That's not funny. The fact that Eugenia is almost 30 years old and she can't even get on the ground to do a push-up is not something to be laughed about. Now, in this next section of the video, I want to make it clear that Eugenia knows exactly what she's doing. She obviously needs help immediately, but she is not a clueless person. During a stream that she did a couple months ago, she says plain as day that she never wants any help. Stand 10 toes on the fact that you never wanted help. I will, I, I did it really, being honest. So Eugenia understands that there is a problem and she knows that she's not only damaging herself, but she's damaging the minds and the lives of thousands of young girls out there who look up to her. Because there was a girl that got onto Eugenia's stream that she did on TikTok and said that Eugenia makes her want to relapse on her ED again. Eugenia isn't looking to do anything about it. She doesn't want to get better. She wants to stay sick. Because in the next clip, somebody said that they missed the way the old Eugenia used to be and the way that Eugenia used to look when she was a little healthier. And she just straight up says, in kind of a sinister tone of voice, that she's never gonna be that way ever again. I wish Eugenia could be like this again. Well, too bad, because she's not probably ever gonna be like that again. So too bad, sorry. There's something so jarring about how she says she's probably never gonna be like that again, so too bad, rather than I'll never be like that again. It's like her ED voice jumped out and we can finally see that the girl we once knew is dead and all that's left is the Anna voice dragging her along. And another reason why I say that Eugenia isn't clueless is because of this one Instagram story she put up about the Listerine that she has in her bathroom. I think this is the biggest mouthwash bottle I've ever bought. It seems really good and I've been using it this week, but every time I can like barely lift it lol, it's huge. I don't know how that is not a wake up call and I don't know why she's acting like that's just cute and quirky. It doesn't make you dainty that you can't pick up a bottle of Listerine. But it's like, even though Eugenia isn't clueless, her viewers don't do anything to help her either. In fact, they make it worse when they're supposed to be her supporters. You gained weight. I am worried, but it looks great. Um, thanks, Pachinko. I mean, um, you don't have to be worried. Uh, I, it's kind of weird you say that, because, like, I didn't actually even, like, gain weight. Like, I don't know, I'm the same size. Uh, but, I mean, um, yeah, like, like I said, you don't need to be worried. Uh, I'm, 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 like, literally the same size, so, um, 
yeah, I'm not really sure like what you're what you're worried about, but um <sighs> Why the fuck would you say to someone who is clearly struggling immensely with anorexia that they've gained weight and then on top of that saying that you're worried about it? <sighs> you know damn well that Eugenia hasn't gained any weight. The more we see her, the more weight she loses. Why would you say that? And this person says that they're worried about Eugenia gaining weight as if that's not a positive thing. As if that's not something that we should be happy about. As if that's something that we need to be worried about. Because after hearing that comment and getting off of that stream, she's going to go as far as humanly possible, more than she already was somehow, because you just told her that she'd gained weight. And lastly, she's been wearing a lot of wigs lately because simply put, at this stage, her hair would be falling out or it is extremely thin. And at first, I actually genuinely believed that in the pictures where she wasn't wearing her wigs and she was just showing her natural dark hair, I thought that was her hair. But people who have watched her videos have noticed that it's either a wig or it's extensions. Because again, she probably doesn't want anybody looking at her and being concerned. But she addressed the speculation on Twitter by saying this. It's funny how the same people constantly accusing me of wearing hair extensions also say that my hair is thinning. Oh, which one is it, lol? She says that as if those two things aren't directly correlated. You're wearing extensions because your hair is thinning. Those those two points, like, are related. <sighs> Anyways, guys, I think that's about as much of Eugenia that I personally can talk about. At the end of the day, I wish nothing but the best for Eugenia, but it is very difficult to look at her situation positively. It really f***ing is. Anyways, guys, um, if you've made it to the end of the video, please take care of yourselves. Please eat something. Please drink something. I don't care what it is. Just get something into your body and have a good day.